Right, let's go ahead and do this thing, shall we? Right, so first things first, what I do, welcome. Uh, what we're gonna go and do is go over towards Eris and we're gonna go and do this planet, this node called Ostras. I don't know how to pronounce this, but it's an infested salvage mission. We're gonna start off here to go ahead and get our nanospores. So I've already got my team assembled with me. Shout out to you guys. <laughs> I appreciate all of the help. And we're gonna go and get straight in here. Hopefully these guys are ready. It would be bad timing if they weren't ready right now. There we go, they're straight in. And we're gonna go and break down the roles, what we do, how we go ahead and do it. And, uh, and then I'm gonna show the builds a little bit after this farm. Hopefully things go well. Hopefully we can go and get a lot of nanospores. Again, it is an awful lot of RNG towards it. So keep that in mind. First thing we're gonna go and do as soon as we spawn in is we're looking for two icons. So this right here is only one icon. We are in the wrong tile set. I'm glad that I got this on camera, thank God. So the host wants to right now is the abort and we're gonna bring the entire team back out with us. Unfortunately, you might have to do this one, two, three times. We're gonna hit repeat mission and we're gonna go back in again. So there's two tile sets in here. Uh, the first tile set, um, was basically that one there. And it's, it's only got the objective, so it doesn't have the black marker or the black icon, it's like a hexagon kind of icon. Um, when you've got that one, that's the correct mission to go into. And you wanna go ahead and get in towards that mission to uh, get the correct tile set. Is Raven all right? I should wait for him to go ahead and get on in there. So look out for that one. The host is mainly just the, the most priority on that one. Uh, to take it down. As for the squad, we've got Cora, we've got Nova, and we've got two Necrosses. And we're gonna go ahead and break down their roles and make sure everyone's all good uh, right now. Is Raven here? Can I four star? I just wanna make sure that I'm all right to four star. <laughs> I don't wanna catch him off guard right there. I'll force that. If he doesn't move at the beginning, then I might have to go and get this off. Okay, hopefully he's all good. Right. So I'll go ahead and show you from my perspective what the Cora role does, um, but I'll also be talking about all of the other roles and the way that we want to play those roles and what it is that we want to do with them and so forth and so forth, all right? Uh, so just bear with us. So again, as soon as we get in, right, you see that icon right there? I'm looking directly at it. That is the correct icon. We are now on the correct tile set. What you can go and do at the very start, just run around. Just go ahead and collect all the loot at the beginning. Don't spend too, too long doing this. I've got a nice long range weapon. So I'm just gonna run around, collect the loot as per usual. I'm just gonna leave the start. It doesn't matter too much. So keep running around, keep collecting all of the loot. Like I said, don't spend too long on this part, but just mostly look for the nano spores is all you're really looking for. Um, if you're new towards doing this, you don't have to go ahead and focus on that part. Um, if you know that you're quicker at doing this, uh, then you can go ahead and do this. All right. Um, sorry, that was my follow alerts. Let me go ahead and mute those. Right, so let's go ahead and get this done. So Cora is going to go ahead and put down strangle domes, okay? So I'm going to go and show you the positioning on what it is that Cora is going to do. So first, um, I'm going to put a pad down here. First strangle dome is going to be put right here. So I would go and say, you see where these lines are right there? I'm just going to put it relatively in between these kind of lines. Uh, so there's one door here, one there, two there, three there. Just going to put it somewhere in between two and three, just around about here, closer towards two. And that should be a good place to go and pop it. So we'll go ahead and do that. So that's number one. And on the other side, we've got exactly the same, but there's a bit of rubble in the middle. So just going to place it relatively on top of the rubble. So there's a bit of a weird hitbox with the Korra's uh, strangle down. So it will go ahead and kill enemies. You'll see like an enemy's up there. And as you guys jump down, he's not actually anywhere near. If I go and show you right there, he's actually nowhere near the dome, but he will go ahead and die to it. Once Cora's done that, go ahead and hold your free and rotate over towards heal. Okay? Now you don't want Cora, uh, you don't want Venery attacking anybody. You can press free to go and keep her healing on top of you, and that's all she's gonna do. This is Cora's role. This is what Cora wants to be doing. Pay attention on Cora. Make sure that you are still putting your domes down all around here so that you are uh, helping the team uh, get lots of kills there. So as you can see, no, none of us are killing, but I've already got 118 kills. I'm not doing anything, I'm just letting my dome do all of the work. Now, as for Nova, so we're using the Nova role. What she's going to be doing is using her four molecular, okay? Molecular prime. Her four, she's going to take a big amount of duration on it, and she's going to go ahead and take um, a small amount of strength. 
Uh, this will speed enemies up. Do you need power donation on the build? No, you do not. Unfortunately, the infesteds uh, are not coded the best, so they may end up running into walls and they may go ahead and get stuck there. But you want to go ahead and bring as little strength as you possibly can. So 40% strength is a good way to go and do it. And then go ahead and bring as much duration as you can with some efficiency. And then every time that your four runs out, go ahead and cast your four again. That's essentially Nova's role as well. Then we come towards Necros's role real quick. Now, Necros, if we are on the correct tile set and they can see this icon here, Necros wants to go ahead and turn his Desecrate on, okay? So go ahead and press free, keep the Desecrate on. He will have a Despoil build. Lots of range, plenty of efficiency, and then just survivability, but he doesn't even need an awful lot there. As you can see, I don't really need an awful lot either. Even just a Vitality mod will be fine. Uh, all of the killing will be done uh, with Korra, okay? So just let Korra go ahead and finish everything else off there. So... Uh, the way that this me method works and what it is that we're doing, we're using Korra's Pilfer and Strangle Dome to go ahead and get 65% chance for enemies to drop additional loot, okay? Now, these enemies will die to the dome, and the dome does slash procs, which means because the dome does slash procs, it has a chance going to split enemies into two, into three, whatever. It can split enemies up. Necros is using Desecrate. Necros's Desecrate can consume corpses that are on the ground. So the more corpses that are on the ground, you see that? That actually got consumed by Desecrate. Uh, did that one... Yeah, that was, you see like where they puff? You see where they puff over there? They get consumed by Desecrate. So that basically is telling me that Necros is actually consuming them, which means that he has a 54% chance. Imagine like flipping a coin, and instead of you having 50-50, you've got a 54% chance of getting heads. If he gets heads, he's got extra loot. If he gets tails, he's not got extra loot, okay? So what we're doing is we're using these factors. We're also using resource boosters as well, and we're also using a, a cavat over here called Smeeter. Uh, this is Concealer, that's my dog, but we're using a uh, Smeeter, and Smeeter can also go ahead and proc Charm. Okay, so when Smita procs Charm, um, she's looking for, she's got several pro uh, Charm procs that she can do, Reload and uh, Shield and so forth. You're looking for the one that says Affinity, um, so that will go ahead and show in your top right with the Affinity proc. When she gets that, she can also double resources as well. So you see how this Vaporizer up there right now is about to go and hit 25%. You see next to the minimap, it says A, B, and C. What we want to go and do is start going ahead and pumping and keeping this Vaporizer life. My Necroses should be doing that. Uh, that's what Necroses will be doing. Nova and Korra can just go to ignore that because Necros doesn't have a big role to go ahead and do. Uh, oh, actually, sorry, it's 20% that we want to go and put it in, not 25. That was my fault. I forgot that one. <laughs> So at 20%, go ahead and keep the Vaporizer alive. You only need one Vaporizer to go ahead and successfully do a rounds, okay? So B and C can die. We don't need B and C. They don't mean an awful lot to us. Just go ahead and let them die, okay? Um, the reason why we want to go ahead and extract after this round is because enemies are going to start to scale, which means they get harder, which means the dome won't kill them as fast, which means if the dome doesn't kill them as fast, it's not as efficient. Go figure, right? The rewards will not go ahead and increase. So <laughs> why scale enemies if the rewards are not going to be scaled themselves unfortunately my, we're we're five minutes in and my smita hasn't actually propped which is a little bit upsetting sometimes it would be really good if she does go ahead and proc again this farm is really dependent on smita to actually go ahead and proc there is a potential of reaching up to and over 300 000 nano spores 300 000. we do have some screenshots so i'll attach those in the description below and hopefully you guys can go ahead and check those out and uh, go ahead and compare it now during this farm if you guys have never done infested salvation before infested sal salvage before not salvation infested salvage before is underneath the minimap you'll see it says armor integrity it's in red right now and it says 13 percent if i go to walk up to this one it said administer serum so if i press x you see it's, it's gone up now i got 97 percent and so forth if i press x and x again i've used up all of them and i haven't got any more this will keep you alive imagine it as suffocating without it so you want your arm integrity to stay at 100 as often as you possibly can so what are anti-serum injectors they are these things here you see these things here if i go and walk over it you see the color oh whoops sorry one second let me go and put my domes down so you see the color that I have is uh, currently gray. It says anti serum and it's got three of them, the grays. Now you see one of them's a blue, I believe. So if I go ahead and walk over these, I can go ahead and get all three of them blue. Um, you can use these to go ahead and keep your anti serum injector, uh, sorry, your anti serum armor integrity nice and high so you don't die. Or you can also go ahead and put them into these vaporizers, okay? So we've lost B and we've also lost C, so we cannot go ahead and put these in B and C as these are now invulnerable. Um, somehow it's still <laughs> consumed mine. <laughs> wow. Scam, D, come on, fix it. Um, so, oh, God, again, I got another hair on my mouth, my goodness. Still got it, okay. So that's what we're gonna go ahead and be doing and focus on, uh, focus on that and going ahead and making sure that Korra is getting all of the kills here, making sure the dome is doing all of the work 
Uh, Nova's bringing all of the enemies in and so forth. Uh, I just want to go and make sure my Venery is still on hill. Besides from that, you're basically just running around, collecting as much loot as you possibly can. Make sure you keep your team alive, keep one of the vaporizers alive, and you'll extract at 10 minutes. That's near enough all there is to it, but I will go ahead and show the builds uh, after this. You'll also see that I'm holding basically just a melee weapon, and actually all of us are holding just melee weapons as well. Now, as to how true this is, I'm just going to throw it out there anyways, um, as it's really hard to go ahead and break it down. Uh, accordingly, if you don't have primaries and secondary weapons, you have a chance to eliminate one of the procs that your smeter does. Um, this is somewhat debatable. Um, I've heard people go ahead and say that the animation still comes through, but it doesn't show the buff. So with, by eliminating primary and secondary weapons, um, smeter eliminates one of the extra procs she does. We want her to proc affinity only affinity as often as she can again unfortunately she's not propped it so it's a bit i don't know if she actually propped that earlier but i don't think she's propped it yet so it's a bit harder for me to go ahead and showcase all right a bit harder for me to go ahead and showcase that one we're waiting for the krypton to hit 100 percent when that hits 100 percent we will be out of this mission as you can see we're almost done with 10 minutes as well and i'll show you how many uh, nanospores we go ahead and get uh, on the farm uh yeah, I could go ahead and do several YouTube recordings for this one. I feel like it's just better to go ahead and do one and just go ahead and show you that the results may vary. I'll attach screenshots to all of the different tries that we got there. Uh, we won't be changing anything within the builds to go ahead and show you that, you know, it's all legit, authentic, so that you guys can go ahead and get the nanospores that you guys need. Uh, I think I've dropped in the dome a few times, which is uh, my issue. But again, now that we hit 97%, make sure that your team is ready to go ahead and run out as well. As soon as it hits 100%, all of the enemies stop spawning, so just kill the remaining ones and go collect any remaining and loot that you can go ahead and see if you possibly can and uh, try and stack up that uh, last bit of nanospores uh, to go so I'm just looking for some over here Put some over there okay I didn't get anything there unfortunately three seconds two seconds just collect whatever it is that you can go and see there and we'll go ahead and show uh, what kind of uh, what kind of uh, amount of quantity of nanospores that we just got whoops <laughs> I had the wrong one as well I'm all over the shop there you go. So as we go ahead and extract, let me go and show screen. Um, we can see here that at 9 minutes 22 seconds, I got 97,000 nanospores. I unfortunately didn't get Smeeda Kavat to go ahead and proc. Uh, hopefully my team can go and write in the chat and tell me how much nanospores they got um, so that you can go and see that it will fluctuate differently depending on uh, the people that it is uh, that you guys... Um, uh, sorry, the uh, RNG that it is that you have. Um, how much did you guys... How much did you guys get? So Solaris got 122k, 91k, not a single Smeeda proc. Unfortunately, we didn't get any Smeeda procs there, uh, which is a bit rough. But again, that's unfortunately just uh, how it goes. Let me go and get up the YouTube recording. Right, let's go and show off the builds. So let's go and show off the Korra build to start off with. Now, all of us are actually running Zenuric, at least for now, because uh, we're just going to try to get the energy uh, back. I don't know if there was any other ones that we can go ahead and throw in there, but mostly just the energy. I guess you could go and use Madurai, but you don't really overly need it. But anyways, this is the Korra build. So, for Korra, um, we're focusing on duration. That's the main thing. We want to go and keep these domes up as much as we can. Now, strength is really important in here, and so is also range. Too small of a dome, then you're not going to go ahead and get, you know, as many enemies trapped in. Too big of a dome, then Ed loot is going to be all behind corridors and so forth. Necros's Desecrate may not have enough range to, to meet all of the loot. The strength is important because we want the enemies to die. Now, I run 155% on my Korra, and I'm also running Pilfer and Strang uh, Strangle Dome. So this is a core mod. The strength is important. The range is important. Efficiency, it depends. Uh, are you using Zenuric? Uh, I'm using Arcane Energizers, so I'm making sure that my uh, energy come uh, energy return is nice and high. I make sure I don't run out of energy there. Uh, and then the duration. I want to keep those domes nice and high. So I've got a duration of 35 seconds of a dome remember you could put two domes down and remember the location of those domes so this is basically what Cora's build is looking like um change a few things if you prefer a bit more duration that's fine take more duration but so long as you've got enough to go ahead and kill enemies find out what your threshold is find out what works a bit better for you and uh, you can always go ahead and change just a little bit there now i'm actually using enemy radar uh, as i'm uh, looking for enemies and just seeing where all of the enemies are coming in from it's a bit easier for me to go and see that other people can use things like energy siphon and so forth and so forth so that's the uh, Korra build uh, as for the uh, Kavat build, I'm just going to flash this one up on the screen anyways. Again, I've got Charm in here. I don't know how true this is, but if you do happen to have other abilities within uh, her kit, uh, what's the other one? I think it's Mischief, isn't it? So I think if you actually have Mischief in there, I believe that there might be a delay of her somewhat procking Charm because she may end up using one ability action over the other. So this can somewhat... Uh, 
you know, affect how many times she can go to proc charm. But that's all right. That's just how it goes. I go and use charm. I got tech itself for survivability, a primal animal instinct. After, after that, well, tech enhance for the ability duration. But after that, besides some fetch, it doesn't really overly matter. Just keep your pet alive and you should be good. Okay. Now, as for the uh, Nova builds, let's go over towards Nova. And let's go and flash her build up on the screen. So I'm using a speed Nova build right here. Um, we can change a few things on this build. First things first, we do not need power donation. If you put power donation on your build, you're already speeding up enemies an awful, awful lot. Just take power donation up, uh, sorry, take power donation off because otherwise they'll run into walls and they'll get caught on ledges. Sometimes it's a bit janky, some tile sets. So unfortunately that's just how it goes, but don't run power donation, you don't need to. Um, so swap that out. Again, energy siphon, other stuff like that will be fine. I know uh, some of the people have said about, you know, Necros could go run a power donation and help out Cora that way and give her more strength. Unfortunately, uh, it's it's not selective as to who it goes to. It goes to everybody. So that means Cora will be affected by power donation as well. So you don't need Necroses on power donation. Nobody needs to go into it. So just ignore that mod, at least for now. So really low strength, like I said, the Molecular Prime will have a slow of minus 30, which basically means it's speeding them up. So we got the lowest in there. That's obtained with purely just an overextended mod, minus 60% ability strength. So we can go ahead and bump that straight up. As for the duration, the longer, this, this ability, uh, if you guys don't know how Molecular Prime works, when you press four, it starts off here and it's all about duration. I know it spreads and you think, oh, it's range, but the, it's gonna continue to spread the longer that the ability lasts. So it's all about ability duration. So go with higher duration as you possibly can if you need any more efficiency take more efficiency if uh, energizers work really well xenuic focus tree works well and hopefully that'll go and get you in there okay you can just get away with a vitality mod none of you guys will end up dying so this build can be uh, alternated quite a bit you do need you do not need to copy this build mod for mod okay go ahead and change out a little bit there if you want some more efficiency put some more efficiency in uh, lose rolling guards so forth you get the idea okay as for the final build we're taking it over towards uh necros and boom, there we go. So as for the Necros build, we're using the Despoil. Now, I can go ahead and argue on this one. Do go for more range. The more range that you have, the more further you can go ahead and split with Necros whilst collecting other loot from different spore containers and containment units and so forth. So uh, the more range is the better. Uh, good efficiency. Uh, keep that at 175%. Keep in mind you are running the Despoil mod. This will help you drastically. Keep your HP nice and high. Health conversion just protects you. You can also go ahead and run uh, extra health in here, which would be a Gladiator Resolve. This is still fine if you want to go and do that but for the most part you should just be fine as for arcanes pulse grace guardians energizers these are, well you don't really need energizing them but these will be fine as well and keep in mind the aura you don't need shield disruption this was only mostly against corpus i haven't really overly uh, set out this build correctly i apologize but rolling guard you also don't need as well so again mostly range efficiency a little bit of survivability and some utility okay that's the most the most things you're focusing on so you can go ahead and split out the builds uh, when we're using zenurek as our focus score uh, what we're actually doing when we go ahead and get in there uh, energy pulse is really good because it gives you an eot which is whenever you pick up an energy orb you get energy over time and that's for the energizing dash whenever you dash you create a zone of energy you can walk into that or walk out of it walk back into it you'll go ahead and get energy over time as well so both of these are basically like eot's energy over time and this is what we're using for the zenurek side of things uh, you can use things like uh, naramon as well if, you, if you're struggling with kills or anything else like that um that's mostly about it. Uh, so the whole the whole goal of it is when Korra gets inside, keep those strangle domes nice and high. Uh, when uh, Nova gets inside, always try and go ahead and get your uh, always try and go ahead and get your um, molecular prime to spread, speed up the enemies. Necrosis, turn on your desecrates. Keep the vaporizer uh, when it hits twenty percent. Keep it nice and high. Keep pumping it, and that will go ahead and take you out around the ten minute mark. Again, like I said, I'll have screenshots inside the description below. Feel free to go and check out those screenshots, and uh, we can show you how many different um, how many different runs that we've done. Sometimes it might go over ten minutes. Sometimes it go under. It's not it's not the end of the world, but ten minutes is just a, a general idea, like a good ten minute extraction. But hopefully, this helps you guys. This is uh, for farming out nanospores uh, again and uh, why do we farm out nanospores a lot of people ask this uh, for energy pads for ciphers and so forth so i have a 2400 ciphers here you, you don't need this many go figure um, but if you do things like eidolons you do eidolon hunts like six times three five times three eidolon hunts you will find yourself using a lot of uh, pads and so forth and here's all my other pads down here three thousand of each uh, every single one and uh, nanospores will be used an awful lot within that okay so if you do uh, any kind of um, speed runs or intense to defy and endurance runs you'll find yourself using a lot of pads they can be extremely beneficial to not just you but also your team so this can help you guys all out hopefully you guys enjoyed the guide thank you guys so much for sticking around and watching hit the like button come subscribe and uh, i'll see you guys in the next video all right
I'm out of here. Peace. <laughs>